mga Marcy's! Welcome back to my channel! Today, ang gagawin natin, something that has been my healing since batang bata pa ako. I used to love to roller skate, ice skate, roller blade, all of those things. Pero syempre, as time goes by, nakalimutan ko na lahat. And I considered myself as a beginner again. I love roller skating, so I bought my new set of roller skates during this pandemic. And I want to learn more. I want to learn all about the basics. Kaya naman, kasama natin today, isang girl that hinahanga, hinahangaan ko sa TikTok. Actually, I was looking up roller skate, roller skating uh, TikToks on uh, TikTok and I found her. She is the Band-Aid Dot Junkie, si Rax Regalado. Hello, hey. Miss Eugene. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Well, it is my honor and pleasure because, well, I've been following your TikTok and I see all of the things that you do. You're teaching these different moves. Yes. You're showing where you're doing these things. May grupo ka, so it's nakakaaliw. And I'm so happy because it's kind of trending now. Thank God. It is. Matagal na yung roller skating actually since the 1970s or even earlier pa nga. Right. But now lang siya naging uso ulit, di ba? So, um, tell us about yourself before we get started. Um, hi, so my name is Rax. So you know me by my handle, IG, and TikTok, Band-Aid Junkie. Um, I started skating when I was eight. It was like an accidental thing because like I just found roller skates in my cousin's um, room and then I started using it. And then when I got back here in Manila, uh, my mom didn't want me to, to skate because <laughs> yeah, it was not safe. Yeah. But like I, I persisted. Like I went to Mega Mall. There were ice skating rinks there, and there used to be this skating rink in Cubao mm -hmm. in Ali Mall. It was called Skate Town. And then cut to when I was in college, I found um, old roller skates in this Japanese thrift store. I got them, and then yun I got back into skating. And then netong nag pandemic, de ba na uso yung like maricondoing and yes. cleaning the house kanya. I found my old roller skates again. And then here I am. <laughs> there you go. And actually, magandang story ng everywhere we skate. So if you look on Facebook, there is this site where there is a little community, a little yes. clan that yes. you guys just share all of your skating experiences. Tell us about everywhere we skate PH. Okay, um, everywhere we skate PH started June last year. Uh, we are we were a bunch of mga skate aficionados. Na, okay. Like yeah, we started the group, and then we um, right now we are at around 7,000 members wow. already so if you guys want to join the group if you want to learn about skating just look it up everywhere we skate PH on Facebook and join us so ako narikindle ang love ko for roller skating because of my sister and her partner Marga so they said oh Regine why don't you buy some skates because I know you used to skate and so I said sige nga so that's when I started searching different sites, um, and I found a pair. I ordered it from the UK, and here they are. My one yeah. and only pair right now. I plan to buy more someday, pag time. <laughs> but ito siya. So, sa mga newcomers there, sa mga people who want to get into it, where can they buy skates kung dito in the Philippines? Okay, um, actually here in the Philippines, medyo mahirap makahanap, but there's just one brand who carries um, other skates. Ang brands naman that they carry are Kaya and Rio. It's Chaser Action Sports. Um, they have a store, a physical store in Mall of Asia. So you guys can go there and check out whatever skates they have. And then there's also an upcoming local brand. It's called Zodiac Skates. They're on IG. You can look them up as well. And then there's another um, skate store opening in Pampanga. It's called Rolio Skate Shop. And then here in the met in the metro, there's Daity Skate Shop. We sell online palang mga um, skate accessories naman and like mga maintenance stuff. Cute. So, meron na pala. Yes. That is good news. Okay. <laughs> so, today we're gonna start with the basics. Kung papano suotin, what are the safety gears, and kung ano yung mga basic steps na pwedeng gawin for beginners. So, let's do it. Like how loose should the skates be when you buy them and what type of stuff should you wear? Okay, um, regarding the sikip or luwag ng skates, it's better if it's like hugging your foot. Mm -hmm. Kasi um, pag may wiggle room siya, minsan may mga skaters na namamatayan ng kuko because oh. gumagalaw yung paa sa loob. Right, right. So yeah, it's better na it's hugging your feet. Mm -hmm. And then, siguro sa, sa, sa socks, it depends then on your preference. Like if you want it mas masikip pa, so you get thicker socks. Mm -hmm. Thicker socks. If medyo gusto mong may konting space, then yeah. you get thinner socks. 
How about the laces? Should it be very snug sa, uh, up to the ankle? Um, what I do personally, what I do is, um, medyo snug yung dito, yung dito sa paa. And then, pagdating dito sa taas, I, I leave a little room, mm-hmm. a little wiggle room. Kasi, I need my ankles to have, like, movement. Mm-hmm. Okay. Especially In my here. case, I like it snug hanggang sa taas because oh. I have an ankle in- injury before. So, para extra yeah. protection lang for my ankle. Yeah, that's right naman. Cool. So aside from the shoes, of course, important din ang safety gear, lalo na sa mga beginners. This is a must. Yes. So what we have here is the we have here our wrist pads. So these are what protects your your hands, your wrists from like grave injuries. They're hard. Mm-hmm. So if you can hear it, yeah, mm-hmm. ASMR. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And then we also have the elbow pads. Mm-hmm. So same thing. There are like hard shells. Para to protect then your elbows and our knee pads also. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you, they usually come in a set. Mm-hmm. So when you you buy it, it's all three now. Yes, you can get this online or at any sports shop. Yes. Okay, so let's get started. Lesson number one: How to balance on your skates. Yeah. So for beginners, um, you can have your stance like this, medio wide, and then aligned with your shoulders. Kenyan. And then always um, remember to keep your chest out, your butt out, and your chin up. Yeah, and so yen yung ating uh, posture when we skate. And then also our knees, we have to keep it slightly bent. Not naman like super low, mm-hmm. but like you have to keep it loose. Mm-hmm. Don't lock it. Because if your knees are straight like this, it will like make right. you unstable. Ayon. Okay. Okay. Lesson number two, how to move forward. Okay, so to move forward, we have to put our feet in a V position just like this. All right, and then imagine it as if you're shifting your weight from your left foot to your right foot. Meaning, like if you go to your right, your your body has to be over your right knee, and then when you go to your left, your body has to be over your left knee. So we start it by doing this: shift your weight to the right, and then to the left, and then to the right, and then to the left. You're doing it. Yeah. Next lesson: how to stop. Yes. So today I'm gonna teach you two kinds. It's one: the toe stop drag. And then the second one is the turnaround toe stop. So let's do the toe stop drag. So it goes when you're moving, you just have to lift one one foot and then let your toe stop drag behind you. So it goes one, two, three, and then when you need to slow down or stop, just lift your other foot and then let that toe stop drag behind you. Gotcha. You wanna try it? I'll try. One, two, three. And your knee and drag. Yes, great I job. stopped, I stopped. Woo! <laughs> yes, okay. Okay, so the second stop I'm gonna teach you is the turnaround toe stop. So it goes, when you go forward like this, you do a transition by opening the book, closing the book, staggering your feet, and then planting your toe stops on the ground. So, glide, open the book, close the book, stagger, and plant. <laughs> All right, so there you go, two types of stuff. Next lesson, we're gonna do bubbles. Ani yon? So actually, bubbles, parang fundamental siya. Um, kailangan siya because um, it is the base for most moves that okay. we're gonna do later on. So it goes like this: so you start with your feet in a V position again, knees slightly bent, chin chin up. And then you push outward. So imagine that all your weight is uh, nasa pinky, nasa oh, pinky toes. Okay. So like push out. And then once nandito ka na sa ano sa parang middle part, imagine naman na all your weight are on your toes. So parang imo move mo naman siya closer. So wait. <laughs> so from here you go out and then in. And then you go out again. Out. And then in. Yes. There you go. Out. In, out, and in. That's it. Yes. It's the bubbles. Next is our most important lesson for me because dito ako nakikirapan. She's gonna show us how to turn. Yes. Okay. So for turning, you just have to think of it as gonna din and and weight shift din siya. So like if I'm going left, so come on, follow me. So yeah, you're gliding, you're gliding, and then I want to turn left. I put my left foot forward and imagine all my weight. Is on my left pinky. Or if you're going right, if you want to go right, ano naman, ganun din. Imagine that all your weight is on your on your right pinky. So you go, and then you turn like this. So, kailangan ba yung two feet in line? Not naman necessarily in line, but, but like it's better na one is leading kung saan yung direction mo. Because, um, 
kung saan siya, kung saan yung foot mo nila una, and nandun yung unang weight mo, the, the other foot tends to follow. Last but not the least for our skating 101 for today, our lesson is how to go backwards. Yes. Okay, so skating backwards, there are two ways. So once you're familiar with the bubbles already, so diba we did the forward bubbles kanina, you can try doing the backward bubbles. Okay. So that will be the start of your um, backward skating. So pwede kang mag bubbles backwards. Yeah, try to move backward. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Nice. Okay. But like a hack that I, I really love teaching people because it's the easiest is when you you put your feet in a parallel position like this mm -hmm. and then just lift the, start lifting the back wheels. Kunyari, so you start with the right foot, lift the back wheels of the right foot and then isunod mo yung lift. Tapos ganun ulit sa kabila. So it will look, it will look something like this. It's the easiest and the most practical. Go backwards. Yes. Oh my god. Ano ulit? So again, you start with, you start with parallel feet like this, and then lift this. Ah, sorry. Lift this, and then this will follow. Lift and follow. Lift and follow. There. Wow, oh my no! Deba? <laughs> You're doing it. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Ano ba yung tamang tamang posture pag padras? I have an I have a feeling na kailangan nakalabas yung puwet. Tama ba yon? Um more of actually yung yung, yung weight mo medyo mas forward pa din than back because it's dangerous when your weight oh. is at the back. Ah, okay. So like your butt is out uh -huh. but your weight is forward. Uh, but it's out of the way this will work. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. And the practice lang talaga. It just really takes practice, but you're doing it. Ah. Okay. Yes. So wait, do we start first with the backward bubble? Yeah, you can you can start with that. So para lang just just to get the hang of, you know, moving backwards. It always comes forward and back. I mean you start there first and then you go back. Yes. Or you can start from backwards na. Pwede din naman. When you do the backward bubble, gonna be the case. Yeah. So, yeah, and you can practice nice. with that. Yeah, I'm doing it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Good night. I'm getting. The most important thing to learn when you roller skate is how to fall. So, Rax, how do we do this? <laughs> Gracefully. <laughs> okay. Um, so, for falling, there are two ways. I can teach you two ways. One, if you accidentally fall, patalikod. So, it's inevitable that, you know, skaters, especially beginners, they fall backwards most of the time. So, when you fall backwards, the only thing you have to remember is to pick a cheek. So, you always have to land on your, on your bum. So, you have to think, saan ba? Pag maglaland ako, either left or right cheek. Usually, kasi the injuries happen when they let their their wrist catch their fall. So like, pag kunyari pag ganito, yeah, this is very dangerous because it's gonna you know hurt you. So pick a cheek. When you fall, you go down. When you feel you when you feel like you're like losing balance already, try to go down and then stretch one foot out and fall on your butt. So yeah. So again. Okay, the second fall is when you fall forward. So what I do is, like, the ba kanina I taught you guys how to do the toe stop drag. So when that happens, and then it's very dangerous, I go, I take a knee. I let the knee go down in the ground. That's why we have knee pads, so that it'll take your fall. So again, especially during street skating, when they're like dangerous terrain or big lang may car na nagcut sa yo, you can take a knee. So you're moving forward, wait forward, take a knee, let your knee take the fall. Okay, that's it. <laughs> so actually, paano ba makakuha ng confidence like you on the skates? Because I still have a lot of fear right now and anxiety. Yeah. How do you become very confident? It's it's understandable because like it's not a normal thing, right? That we have wheels underneath our feet. But like 
practice lang talaga. Practice is key, guys. Like, may mga nagtatanong na parang, paano ba matuto na mabilis? Ganyan. It's a process. It really is a process. Like, even yung mga falls and yung mga baldog na tinatawag nyo, it, it's part of it. It's really part of it. Okay. You said earlier, your skates can smell fear. Yes, ano that's yun? true. <laughs> <laughs> your skates can smell fear. Um, based from experience, like, when I used to be, like, super scared pa, yung, yung ganyan, uh-huh. mas madali kang mag-fall over, mas madali kang madulas, but, like, when you're relaxed and, like, your body is more zen, mm. the skates will follow. Yes, and I think, like, my fear before with driving, you kind of have to feel like you're moving with your skates. You're moving as one. Yes. Diba? May na-contribute That's so true. <laughs> I have another question. Okay. Ang roller skating ba ay para lang ba sa mga bagets? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Magurang na ba tayo para siya? <laughs> bagets pa tayo. Bag- Ako, oh, oh. I am, I'm 37. Okay. And I, I still skate. And I know other people who are like 50 and above who have just started skating as well netong nag-pandemic because like they say that it helped a lot with their mental health and you know everything that happened so yeah it's for everybody skating is for everybody so you guys should try it syempre kailangan nating maging careful mm-hmm. yeah so that's why we have our gear mm-hmm. and yun mga safety tips that we we give out sa group and one last thing syempre lahat ng mga tinuro ni Raquel ni Rax ay uh, kanyang mga tips personal that also help me right right so i'm not i'm not a professional instructor i'm just a, a skater as well but these are the things that worked for me it might work for you it might not you know you can there are other tutorials din naman on youtube that you can look up but yeah i'm sharing with regine this these things that worked for me so yeah, i no? hope it works for you tama for fun lang ito guys yes. sana may natutunan kayo <laughs> There you go, mga Morrissey's. What a great workout. I had so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed too and learned so much. Thank you so much, Rax Regalado, for all of the tips that you gave us today. I'm sure marami dyan ang na-inspire to roller skate. So for more information about how they can find you, learn more about roller skating, can you please share it with us? Yeah, so if you guys want to find out more about roller skating, you can look us up on Facebook. It's Everywhere We Skate PH on Facebook. And then I also post mga short... Um, uh, what do you call this? Tutorials on TikTok. So you could look me up. That's bandaid.junkie on TikTok and IG. See you guys next time for more workouts, fun stuff, and so much more. Thank you so much for hanging with us. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share this video if you enjoyed. See you guys next time. Take care and stay safe. Mwah.